All right, guys, it's peach time. I'm gonna be eating my first homegrown peach to figure out what the deal is with these guys and see what all the hype's about. Um, you know, I'm really astounded. I'm really happy, rewarded by these trees. One, they're beautiful. Uh, two, you know, they're putting out tons and tons of fruit for me. And the fruit was, to begin with, was a bit of a question to see if it would even get to this point. You know, back in May, I was all worried that a frost was going to come in, which we came close two or three times to completely not having a peach crop. You can see this one has some bite marks on it of something. And then fast forward to today, you know, now we're in midway to the end of July and my Red Haven peach is ripening peaches and the peaches are pretty good size um, you know we thin this thing not too bad I have to say this is um, some of them on here are of really good size others I think we could have thinned it out just a little bit more to get a bit a better size but I mean who cares about the size when you have <laughs> tasty peaches on your tree that are almost completely blemish free I didn't spray this tree one bit uh, with anything we had an attack of plum cucurlio you know you can see that here on my Alberta peach right next to the Red Haven is the Alberta and you know so some of these peaches got attacked they dropped to the ground you know you got to collect those peaches off the ground guys get those up dispose of them otherwise my peaches are just completely unharmed by everything and they're growing very strong um, I'm gonna have to come in here because this is it's too high for me to pick I'm gonna need a ladder but I'm gonna have to come in here and change up my pruning strategy perhaps um, take out some limbs that are kind of obstructing with the overall theme of this planting here. This is, you know, supposed to be an espalier, and you're not really supposed to espalier peaches, but I've done it, and we're gonna have to see what my pruning strategy will be to get these guys um, fruiting every year. And I think overall, in just this small space, these standard sized trees, in only three years, this is their third year now in the ground, have put out about a hundred peaches a piece and what's nice about this is that we have Alberta which is fruiting somewhat further behind Red Haven so I can harvest Red Haven you know and then I'll have Alberta ripening after it and um, have peaches for a longer period of time rather than all at once you know if this was just one peach tree my crop would be a lot shorter, but the fact that I've espalier these, kept these as smaller trees, I now have a longer period of harvest. I also have a larger harvest because they're pollinating each other. So I think this is one of the better ways to do this as a backyard grower, guys. Um, I also believe in these standard rootstocks. You know, in three years, the fruit set is massive, whereas comparatively, if you compare <laughs> my apple trees in the ground, you know, to be fair, they're not in full sun, but these guys are nowhere near as strong, vigorous. Uh, they're nowhere near as fruitful, you know, and it's not like I'm not fertilizing these guys. We have plenty of mulch down here breaking down. You know, I feed these guys with comfrey that breaks down, that acts as a, a fast release fertilizer. And these guys just, you know, they, they don't do nearly as well compared to the standard rootstock. And, um, you know, enough, I guess, about the talking. Let's, let's try one of these guys. So here's the peach guys that I had picked and the problem with the peaches right now is that it's hard to get these guys perfectly ripe on the tree um, you know I should have bagged a lot of these uh, before I get into the tasting I just want to mention one thing 
I should have bagged a lot of these guys. And what I mean by bagging is I can put organza bags, which is a party favor bag that people use for weddings. You know, this is this is what one looks like right here. So you put this bag around the fruit, prevents it from any insect bites. You know, I would have had less cacurlio to deal with. I would have had more fruits. Um, and you know what? I think they also help with the birds. They help with the squirrels. They help with the groundhog or the skunks. You know, we have all that here. And I think what's happening is that there's squirrels or some something is coming in here. You can see that this this branch, this branch right here I'm holding has broken off right here. And underneath this branch was my largest reddest most juiciest looking peach it wasn't it wasn't soft yet you know i like to pick these and all my fruits i like to pick them when they're perfect and sometimes you can't have that luxury so i think the bags are going to help with that we're going to come in here after i'm done what i'm doing today we're going to come in here and bag all these peaches and try to protect them as much as i can so that i can eat a homegrown peach that is tree ripened you know not counter ripened so this peach right here was ripened on my counter and that's also what happens when you buy them at the store is that they're ripened really over time they pick them early ship them however far they need to ship them and then they uh, ripen on your counter and get soft so let's eat this. <laughs> Whoa. So even, even counter ripened is way better than the store. Wow. Oh my God, guys, okay.